Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly Tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And with that, let's get to it. And leave a comment below or subscribe to my channel. Okay. Dear Taurus, you know, what's in your mind? What, what is that is holding you back? Because it seems like everything is going well for you. Everything is pretty positive. You have the drive. You have the, the energy. You have the passion. But there is something there in your mind that constantly keep you, uh, keep you down. Why is it happening? So what, what are you holding on to so badly? What are those? It could be traumas. It could be like uh, uh, past relationships. It could, be, it could be any sort of codependency. There is something you're holding on so badly. Like it could be a thought. It could be a, um, a belief or, or something that you just like, doesn't matter what's happening around you. You like, I'm holding on to this. This is this is what matters for me. This is, and unfortunately, that's not a positive thing at this at this moment. You're holding on to something that is holding you back. It's not something that helps you grow. It's not something that helps you develop. It's just it could be a relationship as well. If you are in a, in a in a toxic relationship, and you're just like, no, I'm not. I'm not uh, letting this go. I'm not, I'm sticking with it, even if it's killing me. Or it could be bad habits as well, smoking, drinking, drugs, even obsessive uh, um, um, sex or, or anything. Any obsession that is over the top needs to be healed and it needs to be, um, it needs to let it go. So I have the devil card uh, at the center at the top. So this is why when the devil comes up, it means you know exactly what is happening. So you, it's, not, it's not something hidden, it's not something you don't know. It's happening right in front of you and you know that exactly is not good. So it's time to change. And you have the energy, you have the support to make that change. You have the temperance and, and you have the star cards here, which is healing, which is a new energy, which can heal those traumas those problems you you currently you currently have so it's not it's not difficult to to um to make a change it's just it takes a decision you have to decide that you know what i'm gonna be firm on this i'm not gonna touch another drink another cigarette i'm not gonna go out again i'm not going to do this or that for a time period until i heal because physically mentally emotionally and spiritually that things drags you down and that means you cannot focus on the things you actually love doing and while everything is going well for you in the future that all the subject of what can you do with this matter what is holding you back maybe you made the wrong choice and you have to get out somehow maybe this is the pain like well um i don't like to say no or if i promise something i want to stick with it well, sometimes a, a bad decision uh, can prolong suffering. So if you say, this is it, I can't deal with this anymore, I can't take this any longer, um, or whatever, then you get out. And yes, it's a pain at that moment, but then you become free. You become independent again, and you can uh, see your life as it is, rather than through these um, uh, painful uh, glasses. So being in the dark, being in the position where it's indecision. I, I don't know, I don't know what's, you know exactly what is the right decision. If you already have questions about something, so when you're questioning a relationship or a connection or a work, uh, um, um, a work like a job, you know, when you're already questioning, that problem is already there because things when you don't question them 
it just goes natural it means yeah we are on the right track this is the right um, uh, way going forward i don't even have any question but when you start having question is this the right person is this the right journey is this the right uh, job for me is it the right then it means there is something already a debate and if that's a debate and you feel like mm, i don't know i don't know what decision to, i don't know what's the right decision to make in here well you are in the dark at the moment and yes of course it's difficult to make that decision but you need to be aware of the fact that making decision based on fear based on uh, um, uh, negative thoughts and traumas and past experiences most of the time most of the times are not constructive so while you have a lot of constructive energy you have the empress you have the queen of um, of uh, wands you have here the knight of wands so and the knight of uh, um, pentacles as well so while you have while you have this energy in here these are all feminine energy, creative energy. So you have to, and fiery at the same time. So you have to change this fire that the, the devil gives you, which is the uh, hellfire, to have this more movement, more um, uh, passionate, um, um, like moving forward, connection so this is his whole the, the devil is holding you back with the fire okay so the fire is different when you fire yourself to do something when you fire up yourself to be some uh, some uh, somebody or like to change yourself so that's so different one is holding you back with the fear another one is like wants to take you up wants to push you further so you have to make that choice which um, which voice you're going to listen to which is the right thing for you because your subconscious is trying to drag you back to the comfort zone is trying to drag you where it's lukewarm you know it's not bad it's not good yeah the devil we know is better than the one we don't it's it's silly it's not it's not uh gonna take you any further you need to have new challenges you need to have new opportunities you need to take on new um like new scenarios to grow to be more to to learn more and you have the capability to do that you are a hard-working person you can manage all the tasks and challenges and everything you can put them together and make something out of them there is a lot of fiery energy in here but that has to be the right the positive fire not the negative fire that is uh, being um, being uh, visible here uh, by the devil so it takes some time this is what's important so when the empress empress comes up that sort of talks about the time scale but like nine months so you she is fertile she's she's pregnant so she's ready to take on and develop a new life a new project a new possibility a new um whatever you want to get ready but it takes time to get there so we're talking about uh, the position where where you can learn what you want it will take some time and you have to invest time energy money effort into this without the fear of the devil without the fear and disappointments and negative thoughts you have to switch your mind you have to say you know what i'm no longer gonna live in fear i'm not no longer going to live in in, uh, in my old uh, uh, memories I'm no longer going to live in the past I no longer want to live in the dark I want to be out on the sun and I want to make choices conscious decisions and I want to invest my time energy money my pentacles gonna go into this uh, soil and next year I'm going to have a harvest so next summer is my time exactly as what the Empress is saying here next summer so it's nine months from now on that's gonna be the time when you can uh, when you can harvest right now it's time to um, um, to start putting those seeds into into the right right soil so you're gonna have something to um, uh, to harvest next year so you have the energy you have the you have the passion the drive 
focus on that but make sure it it's it comes from the right source not from fear not from the devil not from the darkness it comes from a higher purpose okay and you have a you have stability as well you have a lot of fire around you again you have the strength card you are able to control yourself you are able to control the situation you are able to move things up uh, a level you are able to um, to tame that lion the lion is you yourself with it what's within you your voice your uh, um, um, your behavior so if there are bad habits then you are able to control yourself you are able to uh, yeah to, to basically keep yourself in check okay and with the knight of swords you need to be very sharp on your dealings you need to be very precise on your dealings so not it's communication so while you are doing what you are doing while you are doing this work there might be some people who are maybe got disappointed or upset about you or say well you used to be somebody else and now you changed and you say well thank you very much i'm glad i'm changed i'm changed now i'm different now i'm gonna use my logic i'm gonna use my brain and i'm gonna go through and decide whatever something is good for me or something is supporting me or is not good for me and not supporting me and if it's not good i don't want in my life any longer i'm gonna get rid of it so this is the this is the knight of uh, of swords in here he is very sharp and this is what needs in here you can't be nice with the devil you can't you can't deal with the devil because the devil is the devil it's it's tricky it's you will never win so you need to chop those chains down you need to chop those negative feelings those negative relationships those those things that you you are tied uh onto you need to say no pff, done i cut this cord no more i have enough i have a new life i want to carry on i want to have um uh, positive in my positivity in my life i want to uh move forward and i'm no longer gonna be held back by a person or a thing or a habit or whatever is that so to summarize the whole thing, and I have this card here which summarizes it completely well, is the hanged man. You need to change your perspective. Because while everything is good around you, there is something up there above your neck is trying to hold you back and trying to trick you. It's trying to, to, um, uh, to make you feel that no, you are not good enough. No, you don't deserve that. No, it's not for you. Well... The hangman asking you to change your perception, change your, change the way you're looking at things, change the way you want things to happen a certain way. Be more flexible, be more open, and and acknowledge the good work you are doing and acknowledge those things that you are holding you back. So if certain things and you clearly know exactly what are those things that are not supportive, or who are those people who are not supportive. You need to get them out of your life. It's very simple. Uh, when the devil comes up, you need to act. Right. So, dear Taurus, if you enjoy this reading so far, please hit the like button and leave a comment. If it resonated for that, if it doesn't resonate at all, just leave that comment. It's all good. Um, and now let me give you a couple of cards for the for numerology. And uh, what's the message from the universe for the Taurus? Okay effort make the effort to change the strength card here this is the effort you need to make the effort you need to make the effort to complete what you started that's effort right next creativity so you won't be able to trick the negative thoughts the negative the disappointment things like the devil you won't be able to negotiate with the devil like one by you know one on one it's impossible because he's the devil or she's the devil whatever uh but with being creative finding the way around 
that is and that can be your forte so don't try to like i'm gonna do this or this or that be clever okay be clever by knowing what you are doing so don't just like oh i'm gonna try this way it might work no i'm gonna try this way because it's definitely gonna work because i thought of it i figured it out and finally there are new beginnings for you so there is changes coming if you are able to let those negative things go out of your life if you let those negative things not to have any effect on you any longer right so this is the sacred destiny oracle let's see what's the message for you flexibility flexibility openness creativity delight find the beauty in everything you do find the a joy in everything so don't don't be too harsh on yourself and don't be uh, don't put yourself in in um, in a position where you know my life is about my work my life is about making money my life is about because it could easily be something about financial struggle the devil keeps you in there and you are unable to see a bigger picture because you are so like i need the money i need the money i need the money uh, wonders and delight together this is this talks about the same thing so we want you the universe and you as well as me want you to notice the delightful things in life notice the wonders around you notice all those good things that come in your life because not everything is a struggle not everything has to be uh, a problem so look at the things that are positive look at the things that are nice in your life and enjoy them and then when it's time to work work when it's time to um, fight fight it's perfect right and finally the last card let me give you some romantic oracle card well only time will tell so that's and let's take another one because that doesn't tell us more so give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires now together it makes more sense so you have to be grateful for what you have right now okay so this is romantically if you are in a relationship or if you are single or whatever it talks about the same thing so you have to appreciate what you have right now so give thanks to what you have at this given moment if you are in a relationship even if it's problematic time will tell but give the thanks give the blessings give the the positive attitude if you are single then um, give thanks to your independence give thanks to the possibility that you are able to start a new relationship and time will tell time will tell the right time will come and will tell you that actually you were right at this moment because you had to be in this position to accept a new love that might come in your uh, in your life and with that dear taurus I really appreciate you being here thank you so much for watching this video please leave a comment or or uh, hit the like button and uh, i will see you in the next one thank you thank you guys for watching my videos um please check out the links below in the description box you can get some nice little uh jewelries from the onyx heaven it's a it's a small family shop so every support is uh, appreciated thank you